Guys, I am so excited tonight. We are having another movie night in the RV. I've actually been here cleaning things and straightening things and organizing things. And before we get started, I want to say happy birthday to Eliza. Thank you for watching my Halloween videos all the time. I've been kicking back here on the couch with my laptop, watching one of the movies that I rented already. We got the snack in, but we'll get around to that later on. Let's go have an awesome movie night. Alright guys, I am unplugged for the day and heading out to have a totally awesome, fun Saturday night snack and a movie at the RV. The first place we are going to go is to Family Video in Maslin, Ohio, which I just happen to still owe money on Joe Dirt because I returned it late. <laughs> but we're going to go over here and we're going to see what kind of movies we can find. I know one movie that I want to watch. I actually own it, but I can't find it, so I'm going to rent it. And we're going to see if that other one that I always look for is there because it wasn't in the last time. I can't even think of what it's called right now. And then we are going to run to Walmart, get a few things that we need to make our snack, head on over to the RV, crank up the air conditioning, and have an awesome movie night. Yes, so what I am looking for tonight is like camping movies. Um, not just necessarily camping movies. I have a couple of camping movies in mind, but I'm in the mood for some kind of outdoorsy camping movies. Something really fun. One of the movies I'm looking for is called Open Season. That's the one that I actually have at home, but I can't find it. So I'm going to rent it if it's available. And there's a couple of other ones I'm looking for. Then we're just going to kind of browse around, see what we can find. And I'm really hoping that Walmart has what we need to make our snacks. Um, almond flour is the one thing I'm kind of worried about. I know they have it at the uh, the Walmart back the other direction, but I'm going this direction now, and uh, you never know. So, all right, let's get up here. Just about to pull into the family video here in Maslin. I'm getting excited. Wow, it looks like there's quite a few people here tonight. That's kind of refreshing. I'm glad to see that, guys. Family video, here we come. Hmm. The sign says they have a huge movie sale July 6th through July 12th. Maybe we'll find some cool movies for sale in here. That would be sweet. I'd love to have me some of that Marco's pizza right now. <laughs> All right, let's go for it here. Camping movies, here we come. Wait, look at this. Four Kids and It. I don't know if I want to watch that or not. I think I'm going to give it a chance. Um, but it looks kind of corny. <laughs> Ooh, what the heck? The good things devils do. Okay, hmm. I don't like anything that has to do with devils, but I do like Halloween and pumpkins. Okay, now this looks awesome. I'm definitely going to have to see this. James Cameron's Story of Science Fiction. That is totally something I'll watch. Okay, here's the movie sale, guys. Any movie with this sticker, pick five movies, five bucks. What the heck? Any movie with this sticker is three for six. Any movie with this sticker is two for seven. Five for five. Holy crap, I am checking these out. That's got to be the prices to rent them, not to buy them. Otherwise, I'd be cleaning this place out. All right, guys, I just asked them, and that is the prices to buy them. So we're going to keep an eye peeled for good movies with these stickers on them while we're in here. Let me get a good picture of this so I know what I'm looking for. Okay, the first thing I have to look for though is this one that I keep saying that I wanna rent and okay, here it is right here, Dark Encounter. I keep saying I wanna get this and I have not yet and it, it is in today so I'm gonna get that. Okay guys, I couldn't think of what the other one was that I wanted. It's open season, so now we just have to see if we can locate that. Uh, let's see here, LMN, oh, not up here. 
I bet it's over here in the kids' movies. And it would be cool if it was free. <laughs> All right, let's look on this side here. A's, D, F, C, I, J. Okay, not there. Wait a minute. Look at all these Halloween movies. Holy crap, guys. This one gets a bad rap. And I hated it for the longest time. It doesn't have anything to do with Michael Myers. Um, it just has to do with the company that makes these masks. And uh, they're killing people. But it like totally goes off the whole Halloween storyline. And uh, I love it now, just because it's so cheesy. They don't have open season anymore. It's been sold, unfortunately. But I must have my copy at the RV. So um, so we'll be all right with that. And if not, I have, uh, you know, all that other stuff. Um, Netflix and Hulu and Fire Stick and all that stuff. So we'll be able to find it. But let's just kind of look around here a little bit. See if we can't find something awesome that has to do with, like, camping or... I don't know. That's just kind of what I'm in the mood for. What the heck is this? Kakai, the boogeyman. The art on the front looks totally awesome. Um, that face, otherwise. <laughs> I might look that up on my fire stick, but I'm not going to rent that one. Oh my god, guys, look. This one's called The Farm. They're dying to meet you. <laughs> We could always go with a Friday the 13th marathon, but I'm just not really in the mood for that one tonight. Blair Witch Project, which isn't really camping, but it takes place in the woods. So that's kind of cool, but this one I think is actually a lot better watched on the old CRT TVs with a VHS. And because it's supposed to be a found footage movie, and that just kind of makes it a little bit more real. Oh my gosh, guys, here's Deliverance. That is not a family movie, <laughs> but it is a good one. Um, and possibly one of the only movies that John Voight was a good actor in. I don't think I'm going to get it, though. Okay, family fun aisle. We ought to be able to find something that we're looking for over here. I want something fun. Here's where the wild things are. I have not seen that one. That is in the running. That's kind of the kind of thing that I'm in the mood for. Something that's fun like that takes place in nature. I don't know why I'm feeling like that tonight, but I am. Which also brings me back to Yogi Bear, because I have not seen this one either, but it looks fun. Hmm, I don't have 3D glasses though, so I guess that one will wait. Yeah, somebody on the Facebook page just told me they were gearing up to watch Pirates of the Caribbean. I'm sorry, I can't remember your name right offhand. They were dressed up like pirates and everything. Okay, guys, have any of you seen this movie, Earth to Echo? It's not in, but I have never seen it, and it looks kind of cool. Let me know if you saw it and what you thought about it. Oh my gosh, guys, I think I found it. Camp Cool Kids. <laughs> I mean, that... I know it's totally a kid's movie, but it looks fun. I think I just might have to do it. I know what they don't have in here that I totally... I'm going to watch tonight. I have to watch it. Do you guys remember Fred from YouTube? He was like probably the very first giant YouTube star and he made three movies and one of them is called Camp Fred. I think it's part three. It's hilarious. I am definitely going to watch that one tonight too. I'm just having movies all night. I need to escape, just chill out and watch movies. So that's what I'm doing all night long. Stand By Me would be a good one to watch tonight, too. That also pretty much takes place, like, in the wilderness. If you haven't seen it, it's not really a kid's movie. Um, I have a brand new copy of it at home, I think, on Blu-ray. Well, I mean, it's actually at the, uh, the RV, so if I decide to watch it, I already have that one. See, this is what I love about coming to the video store and actually just kind of, like, walking around, browsing around, looking at things. Because, you know, you don't really know what you want to see sometimes. You have an idea of what you're in the mood for, but uh, it lets you kind of discover things and find movies maybe you haven't seen, like this Camp Cool Kids. <laughs> okay, yeah, I think for now it's going to be Dark Encounter and Camp Cool Kids. And uh, I can bring up Fred on my fire stick if I decide to watch that. And I have Open Season. I have it somewhere, and I can only assume 
that it's actually at the RV, and I hope it is, because that's the one I really, really, really want to watch tonight. Look at this one, guys. Boar. In the outback, no one can hear you squeal. <laughs> well, that's our trip to the family video. So, if you guys don't go to family video, you got to get out there and go, man. It's just too much fun walking around in there and looking at the movies, looking at the boxes, picking out good stuff. Okay, guys, we are at the Walmart. First thing we're going to do is go back to the movies because I really want to find open season. I really want to watch it tonight. And if I don't have it with me, I'm going to be totally bummed. So let's go back here, see if we can find it quick. Okay, apparently it is a $5 DVD, and it's got like three of the movies, which I don't really care about the other ones. The first one is the only one that I like. The other one, they change the actors who voice the uh, the characters and everything, so kind of sucks. Okay, here's some Blu-rays on the end, but I'm not seeing it among them. Although they do have Wonder Park on Blu-ray. I really like that one. Uh... I'm gonna get it, I don't care. <laughs> See, it's apparently in one of these. Look, we got Fletch and Fletch Lives in that one. I should get that one. Well, I am not seeing it, which is a total bummer. And if they have it, it's probably in that giant thing right there. I don't have time to dig through there because they close in like a half an hour. So, oh well, whatever. I think I probably have it back at the RV anyway. So let's just move on and go get our stuff for the, uh, for our snacks. Okay, baking mixes. I need almond flour. Let's see if we can locate that somewhere around here. And here we go. God, is this stuff expensive. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll go for the Nature's Eats, which appears to be spilling out the bottom. I also need some vanilla extract. That'll work need some low carb chocolate chips which I've seen in here before so they should have them right up here somewhere uh, let's see where's this no okay dark white semi-sweet no sugar added but no that's not it they don't have lilies which is the brand that I really need um, this brand, whatever it is, Bake Believe, they do have uh, sugar-free chips, but not here, of course. Um, okay, well, this brand has a lower carb count than anything else I see here, so we're going to go with those. Of course, here is gluten-free stuff. They might have something I could use here. Uh, Semi-sweet mini chips. Let's see. Uh, no, the other kind has less. We need peanut butter, and believe it or not, this has a pretty decent carb count there. I mean, compared to the other ones, so we'll get that kind. And I need butter before I'm done. All right, that is it for the Walmart trip. Stupid thing off. I had to get three little bags of ice because I bought a big bag, which is 22 pounds, um, and each small bag of seven and they were out at the big bags so all right let's get to the rv get the air cranking get everything set up make some snacks and watch a movie okay we are here get some stuff unpacked some lights on open this thing up i am pretty well settled in i got wonder park on the tv there i've been kicking back over here on the couch and uh using my laptop checking out my new uh, hot spot here that I showed you guys a little while earlier um, yeah from Netgear it's uh, Nighthawk I think it's called and it's working pretty awesome I had Karate Kid on Netflix earlier on there while I was working on my laptop and using my phone at the same time so it puts out a pretty dang good signal I think it's gonna be a good thing to have on the road right now I am making something to eat real quick before I get to our actual snack I have some of these low carb pita breads here so I got a couple of these I got some Swiss cheese some honey ham and some yellow mustard just real simple just gonna put together a couple sandwiches here and 
there they are pretty simple fold it over like a taco and there we go one more here and there we go a couple of sandwiches got a power eight zero here i'm gonna sit down and eat these real quick guys and then we're gonna get to uh to our peanut butter snacks here we are making peanut butter bars with chocolate on top i got this idea because the movie that I really wanted to watch that I keep talking about, um, Open Season, in there there is a scene where they get these chocolate bars and they're calling them woohoo bars. <laughs> so I wanted to make some woohoo bars tonight. And uh, that's what we're going to make, but I still can't find a movie. I have no idea what happened to it unless I have it tucked away in my big movie case up there. But uh, yeah, I'm going to eat these. I'll be right back. We'll make our snack. Okay, so I finally found this recipe online. I lost it for a little while there, but I got it back. I'm going to put a link to the recipe um, down below in the description. We are going to make these peanut butter bars with chocolate on top. Oh, they're going to be so delicious. So let's see. We have super, fly, super fine almond flour. We've got the butter. Supposed to use this stuff called Swerve, but I use Stevia, so that's what I'm going to use. It's basically just a uh, sugar substitute, you know. Uh, creamy peanut butter, and we got the Reese's, and vanilla extract. And then we also got that bag of uh, semi-sweet, no sugar added chocolate chips that we're going to use for the topping. So let's measure some of this stuff out first before we actually get started on it. That way it'll be so much easier. So we need a half a cup of the chocolate chips. Let's start with those. We got these handy dandy little portion cups here. Two ounces of butter. Then I got real butter here. Quarter cup of Swerve. I'm going to be opening a whole bunch of these things. I had to turn down the movie <laughs> to do this. So I see that they're having a ton of fun on there with awesome animal friends, but I'm not actually able to watch it right now. But I'll go back and watch it again. That ought to be enough of that. Okay, let's see. Start mixing this stuff in here together. Three quarters cup of the almond flour. Butter. One teaspoon of vanilla. And one half cup of creamy peanut butter. Something like that. <laughs> okay, that's how that looks so far. The butter, the peanut butter, the fake sugar, and the almond flour. Alright, we'll get all that mixed up good. There it is. It's kind of gritty looking because of that almond flour, but that's how it's supposed to be. Now, we're going to take this container right here, because this has to be refrigerated. And my refrigerator does not work yet. I have to have some work done to it. We're going to put it in here, smash it down, then we're going to put this in a plastic Ziploc and put it in that cooler over there in the ice. I don't know how long it's going to have to stay in there, but it's got to uh, kind of get firm in there, so probably going to be a little while. Even just the mix is not too bad tasting. Kind of tastes like uh, peanut butter oatmeal cookies, actually. There we go. Not too shabby. Well, apparently, I have to melt these chocolate chips and then pour that on top before I even refrigerate it. Put that in there. Have to turn off the air conditioning for a minute while I do this, or else I'll blow a fuse. Okay, I didn't want three minutes, but... And look at that, the microwave uses almost 16 amps. I mean, that's of course aside from the lights and the TV and everything. But wow, both air conditioners together only use like 20. Yeah, look at that, that's ready to be poured on there. Yeah, look at that. Mm, 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 mm. That is going to be good. Ready to be dunked in the ice for a little while. I didn't even think I have to put that in a bag. I think that'll be all right right there. Yeah, that should sit right in that ice. That should be good right there. Sit right in there and get cool. 
Okay, well, I'm going to sit down and watch a little bit of this movie here. We'll let those things get cool, and then I will show you as soon as they come out and we're able to actually cut them and have a square of peanut butter with chocolate on top. Oh, I can't wait. All right, guys, I hope it's been long enough. We got Camp Cool Kids getting ready here on the TV, and I am ready to pull this stuff out of here and see. I think it's been in there long enough. Yeah, feels like it's cuttable. Yeah, look at that. That's been in there long enough. We should be able to cut it into some smaller squares. Ooh, the chocolate is breaking. <laughs> okay, well, kind of. That's what happened. Let me see if I can actually get a piece out. Yeah, sort of. There we go. Chocolate peanut butter bar. Okay, guys, we're going to do the taste test. I just took out a little piece here. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, my God, that's good. That is so good. Look at that glistening peanut butter. Mmm. I cut out the best I could over here. But, um, yeah, I think I'm going to have to stick them back in there for a little bit. But for not having a refrigerator and doing it in a bucket of ice, these turned out delicious. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Guys, I'll put the recipe below. You've got to make some of these things. I'm going to kick back, get comfy, watch some Camp Cool Kids, and have some more peanut butter bars. I will see you guys next Saturday night.